but she's not at the shelter either. There was something different. I don't know anywhere else to call. The cabin. The cabin was uh, hot and musty inside, you know, and then Scott thought that he smelled Laura's shampoo, but that wasn't it. Paint. The stars. My name and Janet's were repainted on the wall. That's it, Brooke. I, I saw it, but I didn't, I didn't realize it. Laura must have been there. She was there at the cabin. Uh, listen, I would go with you, but no, I can't leave. It's okay. Too. I'll be back soon. All right. All right. Good luck. Why are you here? Is Laura home? Do you know what time it is? I really need to see her. I think that you better leave. Please, Brooke, I've been through hell today. I just want to put my arms around someone who cares about me. What is going on? Well, it'll be splashed all over the news tomorrow. Dr. Kinder tried to kill me. Not just me. Erica. And, and Skye as well. And he also killed Christopher, this guy that worked for him. Skye? Skye Chandler? It's a ugly, long story. Well, who is Christopher? He worked for Kinder. Look, even if Laura's asleep, I, I'm sure she won't mind if I wake her up. I promise I won't upset her. I guess you know, don't you? Trevor told Pierce, and Pierce must have told you. I'm sorry. You were really planning I wish to... you could view my awful plan as some kind of a relapse. I was very sick, Brooke. I thought you'd taken everything I ever wanted, everything I cared about. And I got so jealous that I slipped back into mental illness. But I got control of it before I made another hideous mistake and hurt more people. You've always been nice to me. I'm truly ashamed and sorry, but the good news is I've changed. I've heard that before, but it's true. I'm living proof of it. I mean, I became delusional. I realized it and I fought my way back. Recovery from mental illness isn't easy. There are setbacks. I'd give anything to have your forgiveness, but it wouldn't be fair to ask you for that. So all I can do is apologize. Does Laura know about you, what you plan? But she does know about Pierce and me now. You told her? She found out about us earlier tonight. Oh. And? She didn't take it very well. She left. She ran away? Pierce thinks she went to the cabin. Uh, he went there to see if he could find her. Janet, listen.
Oh my god. Scott, um, I'm up at the police station. They haven't seen Laura. Uh, you haven't heard anything, have you? Uh, no, but Pierce went back to the cabin because he thinks that she might be there after all. Hold on, we checked the cabin. He remembered something he noticed then, but it didn't sink in. Anyway, he's supposed to call me as soon as he finds out everything. I don't think I can wait. So as soon as my Aunt Phoebe gets her to take care of Jamie, I'm going to head up there. Okay, sounds good. Um, I'll speak to you later, okay? Bye. Dad. I need to go check on Laura, okay? Okay. I'll see you. Laura! Oh my God, is she gonna be all right? She's unconscious. Smoke inhalation. We gotta get her to a hospital. Hurry. Come on, she could die. You're gonna be all right, sweetie. Get a doctor! We need a doctor in here. What happened? She got caught in a fire. Come on, she's barely breathing. Here's safe. We need oxygen. Oxygen Laura, now. say something. Laura? Laura, sweetie? She's waking up. Laura? Pierce. Jenna. We're here. Don't try to talk, sweetie. Back together. Everything will be okay. Her color is coming back. Janet? Honey, it's it's me. It's Brooke. Um, Pierce is here too. Where's Janet? She's right outside. It wasn't a dream. It's gonna be good again. You and, and Janet and me. And Hansel and Gretel and Dumbo. Look, you're gonna be all right. Uh, yeah, just terminally stupid. You know, Scott was here all night. He just left. Um, can can I can I see Janet now, please? Would you ask Janet to come in, please? Before she gives up and leaves. I don't blame you being angry. What a relief. I would hate to disappoint you. You feel betrayed. I... Yeah, it's, well, it's wacky, huh? Just because you and Pierce lied to me for months. I don't want you to blame Pierce. This was my idea. Oh, what? You, you jumped his bones? He was totally choiceless? No, Pierce wanted to tell you, and I held back because I didn't think that you were ready to hear this. And as a legal guardian, you got the final say, right? First... First date, first driving lesson, first taste of the real you. I made a mistake. You? Never. I didn't want to tell you until I felt that Until you I was totally closer. taken in by your act. Open up and express yourself. <sighs> I can't believe I fell for that crock. You know, people have been conning me since I could talk. You'd, you'd think I, I, I could have developed some kind of radar by now. The, the, the world is full of fakes. And nobody's ever been straight with me but my mother and Janet. How do you feel? Better now. Um, could I talk to Janet alone, please? You really had me scared. Had me scared. It's like you dropped off the face of the planet or something. I missed you. Where did you go? I mean, why didn't you write? Are, are you going to stay for good? Please say yes. This is uh, Pierce Riley. He's a friend of met. Laura's. Mrs. Fargate. Laura was visiting you at the cabin? No, I live in town now. Then why was Laura there? I. Well, she's still very attached to the place. You allow her to sleep there? Oh, no. No, absolutely not. But you do let her visit. Well, not at night. No. 
Well, she went to the cabin during the day and failed to return at night? No, no. She came home and then and then went to bed. I mean, we thought that well, she... Well, home? Who's home? Yours or Miss English? Pierce had dinner at my house, and Laura came home, and she was tired, so she turned in early. Well, at what point did she leave for the cabin? I'm, I'm not sure. I'm sorry? We didn't see her leave. You went out? No. Uh, we thought that she was sleeping. Well, how could she leave your home and you not know? Laura's had some disappointments. Such as? Well, first it was school. She had to repeat a couple of classes. Well, that happened in June. This is all. Now I crawled through her bedroom window last night. Pierce and I have been seeing each other. Well, this is new. It's new for Laura. And we didn't... I thought it was better to wait. Well, the idea was that we were going to break it to her gently. And did you? Well, it didn't work out exactly the way that we planned. Well, did you tell her or not? Yes. Well, how did you tell her? She walked in, and I had to explain. She walked in? On you together? No, 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 it was not like that. We were hugging. In a way that made it perfectly no, clear that I, something... No, I wanted to, to talk about it, and she said that she was tired. She wasn't upset. I mean, she covered it Really, well. she seemed to take everything very calmly. And then she ran away. No, no, it was not like that. I don't believe that. I think she just needed some space. In the woods, at night, alone. I think she was just trying to remember the way things had been for her. Before she came to live with you. Miss Hoganson, we're very close. We really are. Yeah, you, you wouldn't believe the progress that Laura's made. I mean, obviously this is a setback, but I don't think it puts us back at square one. Laura and I are a family now. We really are. And, I mean, all families have problems. And they, they settle them. They work them out somehow, eventually, over time. If you leave town, I'm going with you. You mean just start from scratch someplace else? Hey, I've done it before. I can do it again. Well, I'm not sure I can, or that I want to. Well, fine, then stay. Come on, you have to, for me. I'm dying at Brooks. Laura, it was working just fine before. Oh, that was before. Brooke cares about you. Brooke cares? Brooke who? There, There is no Brooke. There's just a four-star Brooke act. Come on, Laura. No, she, she has all the right moves and all the right slogans, but nothing comes from here. It's totally bogus. And, and I fell for it. I mean, once again, I've been had. Nobody's perfect. Yeah, but at least some people tell the truth. Brooke flat out lied from day one. And, and why are you defending her? I mean, she totally trashed your life. It's not that simple. Fine, fine. I, I, do, I don't, don't want to talk about Brooke. I don't want to think about Brooke. And I sure don't want to live with Brooke anymore. Can I come live with you? Please, Janet. It'll be just the two of us. Like before? <laughs>